Hi, my friends. How are you today? I just want to tell you this is not a typical video. I'm filming it like this because I wanted to be close to you, but at the same time, I wanted to hide the scars that I have on my forehead. If you watched my video last week, you'll know that I recently had a procedure and I didn't want to show my scars in this video. It's just too vulnerable for me and I wanted to make a video for you. As I thought I would share some tips with you on how to become a more confident artist and embrace your creative journey. But here's a secret. Some people might not agree with me on some of these tips and that's okay as I have you as my friends in mind and you are the most important to me here on YouTube. With that being said, Let's just jump right into it with my first tip. Although this tip is sometimes controversial in our art community, it's one that I really feel strongly about. Copy from others, because by copying their art and techniques, you learn more than you can ever imagine. Like these members of my channel did during my online classes. I was just in awe when I saw what they created and that is the best way to learn. You can copy another artist's artwork as long as you don't pass it as your own. And of course, if you're sharing it, give credit where credit is due. You can definitely give it as a gift to somebody you love, but selling it is not encouraged. At some point, you will develop your own style and it will open so many doors for you. The next tip is don't be afraid to make mistakes. Failure is part of becoming a great artist, and I wholeheartedly believe in that. If we don't fail, we don't learn. The key to failure is not giving up and trying again and again. By practicing and making mistakes, you start learning what products go well with others and what formulas work best. You will start honing in on what techniques and what styles you love best. I remember so many happy accidents that became some of my most treasured techniques, like ripping the paper in this journal by accident and creating a burnt effect in the hole. That technique was discovered by Fluke, and it was one of my favorite journal pages that I've ever made. The next tip is embrace imperfections as seeking perfection is overrated. You might not believe me, but I make mistakes in every one of my projects. I've never made a project that was perfectly made from beginning to end. Sometimes I fix it like I just did when I lifted the stencil from the page, but sometimes I don't and accept it the way it is like in the top corner when the paste smushed together as it wasn't dry. And that's okay. I accept what happens with its own imperfections because let's face it, like humans, art is not perfect. So why strive to achieve it and bring so much stress upon ourselves? The next tip is don't shy away from color. Challenge yourself to use colors that you don't usually use. Do you know how many times I've heard people tell me, I don't like red, or I never use green or orange or yellow, and my question is, why? It's not like you have to use it in every project. Trust me, I resonate toward blues and greens. However, using color that is out of your comfort zone it's a great learning experience and will help you feel more confident and embrace your creativity. My next tip is take classes, whether in person or online. Taking a class is so valuable. I still take classes because there's always something to learn from another artist. Because here's a secret, artists, don't know everything. Artist is proficient in their own field and if you want to learn a specific technique, taking a class from that artist is key. And truthfully, I learned so much from my own students. 
They always amaze me with their creativity. In every class, I always say, why didn't I think of that? Their ideas surprise me every time. And the bonus is that I get to meet so many amazing people and feel like I belong it to a community. My next tip is think outside the box. Experimenting and trying new ideas is key. The more you step outside your comfort zone, the more you will learn even if you make mistakes. Seeking discomfort is hard, but sometimes making those mistakes paves the road for success and it can become part of the most cherished art pieces you will ever make. Another tip is don't regret your decisions. For example, in this project, I thought I regretted not embossing in black, which I thought would make the stamped images stand out even better. However, once I finished, I realized that my gut was right and the brown colors looked better for this project. If I would have used the black, it would have been too dark for this page. I trusted myself and it paid off. Listening to your intuition is so important, which leads me to my next tip. The next tip is to listen to your intuition. Your intuition will guide you and will tell you if you've added too little or too much onto a project. When your intuition tells you it's good, but you want to add just a little more, listen to your gut. Trust your gut. In my own personal experience, every time I didn't listen to my gut, I regretted it. The next tip is to try many art forms until you find the one that you love best. For the longest time I dabbled in so many different art forms. I tried everything. My tastes changed from watercoloring to acrylics to paper crafting and it finally landed on mixed media and art journaling. Once I found those they took priority in my heart and I didn't want to do anything else. But if I didn't try all those art forms, I would have not been able to realize what I love to do the most. And that is so valuable for you as well. The next tip is don't try to do it all. Once you find the art form you love, no matter what it is, focus on that one alone. You can have more than one, maybe up to two, but having too many makes you proficient at none. Because instead of giving 10% to each one of those art forms, you could give 100% to the one that you love the most. By focusing on that one, you could really achieve the best results instead of spreading yourself too thin. The next tip is really important but very hard to do, and that is don't worry about what others think of your work. As long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. Since art is relative to the viewer, don't get stuck on how they feel about your piece because they're interpreting it from their own point of view, from their own personal experiences, and those could be different from person to person, so they might form different opinions about your artwork, and it's not truly what you felt when you created it. So your opinion is the most valuable and the most important for your own art. The next tip, it might sound like a cliche, but to tell you the truth, it is so important to just enjoy your creative journey. To enjoy each step of our creative process without actually focusing on the end result. This is something that I want to convey more and more on my channel because if we can apply it to art, we can apply it to our lives. I want you to let art tell your story and don't let those fears stop you from creating. Just create. I created a small playlist for you to do just that. 
come and join me. I'll meet you right there.